Oh, plant. Hello, good morning, everybody. So today, I'm gonna show you how I tame this, except for today, it's not that bad, except for like on the side. Can you, can you see that? I'm gonna go take a shower, and then I'm gonna go show you how I, how I fix my pick to cut when it's long. It is really starting to grow out, which I like and also don't like at the same time. Let's get to it. All right, let's fix this mess. So I just got out of the shower, and so I'm gonna put lotion on, but I have this mop on my head. So what I usually do first to get it on my face is brush it with a round brush. So I just brush it back, and the water that's still left in my hair pretty much holds it in place. So I do this first, just to kind of get it out of the way, to kind of get all the tangles out. Because once your pixie cut gets longer, you will get like tiny tangles, or just little matted pieces and stuff. Okay, so that's brushed. Okay, so now I can do lotion. I'm leaving this out though. Okay, now that I'm ready to fix my hair, I usually get out this gel stuff. It's, can y'all see that okay? So it's like this defrizz stuff. I need some more and I might try a different type. Cause this is curl nourish and I don't have curly hair. It's a little wavy, but I think I need something that is for my hair more, you know? So I get a little glob of this, just about that much. And if your pixie cut is like longer than this, maybe you should get more. I guess it just really depends on how much hair you have. So you get your glob and then rub it in. That way it's all over both hands. And then what I do is just brush it through my hair like this. Uh, just running through everywhere. My pixie cut, now that it's like a shag, is very poofy, very wild, definitely has a mind of its own. So, just, you know, keep doing this. And I know everyone's pixie cut's different, so I don't know if this will work exactly for you, but I would recommend getting, you know, the cream stuff according to your hair type for sure, and that would like really help because, I mean, this stuff works for me, but I just need something a little bit different. All right, so basically, I start brushing it around, poofing it out. Um, I try to shake it out to see where my part's gonna be because it has mine of its own, again. And if I don't like it, I can arrange it a little bit differently. Like this, and just honestly, the bad part about this is my hair is really wet, so I don't know what it's gonna look like until it's dry. And I do not have a blow dryer. Okay, so basically, it's like this right now. And I know that once it dries, it's gonna grow out. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Also, I would fix it as much as you need to right now because once it's dry, it's locked in place. So while it's wet, keep doing stuff. And if you need to add more water, do that. Also, I'm gonna have to cut the back soon. I'm starting to get a mullet, which I'm trying to avoid. But yeah, so basically I did that. Sometimes I change the part. Sometimes I brush back over it and then start again. See, I don't like that. So we're just gonna... Just keep messing with it until you feel like it's something that you want. A good thing I like about the shaggy pixie cut is that your hair is kind of wild, but like in a cute way sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it's in a bad way, but like it doesn't have to be as like, like stiff, you know? Cause like my shorter pixie cuts, it's like, you know, real stiff. And back in the day, I used to like gel it a lot. I hardly use any gel. Like I just showed you the only products I use are a round brush and then this cream stuff and then water so it's super 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 easy to fix a shaggy pixie cut just like i showed you this video is like super short but that's basically it i'm gonna come back when it's drier just to show you like what it's done so this is it before it's dried it's kind of a hot mess i know but yeah i just keep playing with it and just trying to see where my bangs are gonna land because sometimes they land wonky like that but yeah, so just kind of get it to a place where you don't mind it and then let it dry. And then when it dries, you can always add more water to like fix it again. So I will come back in a second. Okay, so it's starting to dry a bit and I'm probably gonna put some more of this gel stuff in my hair because it's starting to get frizzy now that it's drying. Okay, so my hair is drying a little bit. And so I'm gonna put some more of this gel stuff in it because my hair is starting to get a little bit more frizzy now. So I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did before. Not too much, just a little glob. Rub it in, and then just go back. Rub it all in your hair. Usually I have to do the gel stuff like maybe two or three times. So just go 
going back through and then just shaking it out again, letting it do what it wants to do and part it. Yeah, basically just play around with it. It's really not like a technique. It's really just messing around with it until you think it looks good or feels good. There's really not a rhyme or reason to it. It's just until you think it looks good for you. So I think I'm gonna like chill and stop messing with it. See, there's a piece that's trying to go the wrong way. And the thing with shaggy pixie cuts is when you have a short one and it's messing up, you can just dunk your head in the sink and soak it all real fast and redo it. But this takes a lot longer to dry and it takes a lot more water to get it wet. It's just a hassle to put more and more water in it. So that's a negative, I guess, about a shaggy pixie cut. But that's pretty much like the only thing is that it just takes longer to dry and so it takes longer to fix your hair technically. And y'all, I'm not an expert. I've had a pixie cut for two years, almost three. And you know, I've had short ones, long ones. So, you know, it's just, I'm not an expert. I just kind of figure it out along the way. And you know, hopefully this video can help y'all like find a starting point, but you know, you don't have to follow this step by step because your hair is probably a lot different than mine. Okay, so we're gonna, oh, I also lean forward and shake my veins down. <laughs> because sometimes they get too like poofy on the sides and I'm like coconut head from Ned's Declassified. Okay, so this is it for now. I am gonna let you see it again when it's like completely dry. I will check in with you later. All right guys, so this is pretty much done. It's a little damp in the back still, but that doesn't matter really. So this is pretty much what it looks like. I do a middle part and it just kind of falls to either side of my face. Also, remember to check the back of your hair because if you have a pixie cut already, you know that there's little stick outs all over the place and sometimes you can't see them. So make sure you double check the back because it gets crazy back there, folks. So yeah, that's pretty much how I fix my shag pixie cut. I hope this helped you figure out kind of how to fix your own pixie cut and what products to use. You really don't have to use a lot of product if you're trying to do what I'm doing, the more like natural and shaggy look. So yeah, I hope it helped and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Shh. Okay, here's like a closer look of how it turned out.